everybody. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am whispering because the walls in this hostel are quite thin and it is 4.30 in the morning. Why do all excursions in Peru start so early in the morning? Every single time. Anyway, I, um, if you don't know, I'm currently backpacking around Peru. I'm settled in the city of Cusco for a little bit of time, just working online and checking out what there is to do here because there's a lot. And despite the fact that the walls are a bit thin of this hostel, it's actually really, really nice. I'm staying in the now Victoria hostel. Got myself a lovely little private room, which is just quite a nice thing to do when I'm somewhere just settled and working for a long period of time. And today in this video, I am going to do one of the very famous excursions that there is to do around Cusco, and that is to visit Rainbow Mountain. Now you may have seen pictures of this online. I think pictures of it always go viral because it's just one of these insane phenomenons of the world and to be honest it's actually not too close to Cusco it's about three hours away by the way do you like my new jumper I got it the other day it's very nice very Peruvian well actually it's not overly Peruvian I'm just saying it's Peruvian because it's like this woolly material which everything is made of here actually I bought this in Arequipa a really nice little scarf Cute, cute. Now I've been told it's gonna be very, very chilly in Rainbow Mountain. I've got to dress up warm. So we've got the base layer on underneath. We've got the woolly jumper. We've got the scarf, we've got the woolly hat. And actually I am going to go all out and we're going to bring my wrap coat. Am I gonna put it on right now? Yes, I think I will. No, I'm going to bring my bum bag. For, for a second there, I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm not gonna bring a bum bag. I'm just gonna stick all the things that I need in the pockets of this. And then I was like, hang on a second. What happens if I'm absolutely boiling and I don't wanna wear this? Okay, this is staying in here. This is staying in here. We're gonna pack up the bum bag with things that I need for the day. So, we've already got some sun cream in there. We've already got some sunnies. That's a good start. Lip balm. Oh, yes contact lenses. Now, because this is three hours away, it basically means that the first three hours of the tour are just on the bus, you're gonna be sleeping. So I don't wanna put my contact lenses in right now. Then I'm just gonna be sleeping in them and that seems very silly. So we're gonna put the glasses on right now. Are they misty? I feel like these glasses are always misty. I'm gonna put the glasses case in the bum bag. And then also the contact lenses in the bumper, in the glasses case, that makes sense. My brain is not draining at this hour in the morning and I am sorry. We need a phone and we need a power bank. I don't know how long this tour is. I don't know what time I'm getting back today. I'll report back. Does this power bank have battery in it? Yes, four stars, don't know if you can see that. It does. Socks, do we want a pair of thick hiking socks? There is gonna be a little bit of a hike today, I think. I'm not too sure. Gloves, normally, I'm the kind of person that would pack for something like this the day before. Mm, I just didn't, I don't know why. So, you know, we're doing it now at 4.30 in the morning. Delve into my packing cube of goodies, AKA the hiking socks packing cube. Yes, I know the ones I wanna wear. I um, rolled over my ankle yesterday, which was just so ironic because I've been doing the Salcante trek for five days, no injuries, nothing, 70 kilometers, uneven terrain, no issues. And then yesterday I was just walking through Cusco in the middle of the day. I stepped from the pavement onto the road and I went over on my ankle. So many people saw me, like I mean about 20 people and were suddenly making a fuss and I was mortified. Had they not seen me, I think I would have just carried on with my day. I like got tearful because I was mortified so many people seeing me and then I got dizzy and then I had to sit down and then, and then I limped all the way home and honestly it was mortifying and my ankle still kind of hurts. I hope it's not a big problem. It's not too swollen, only a little swollen. We shall see today if it's okay. I'm wearing the Hoka trail running shoes. the shoe, putting the foot in that shoe. Oh God, I hope that's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm just trying to think, what else do I need? This is just being held in my hand. Actually, I'll tell you what, I could use this, this bum bag has some clips on it. Oh Jesus, 
I mean, it's just kind of hanging off. It's not exactly ideal, but it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Here we go, in my bathroom mirror. This is the look for the day. Kind of cute. The contacts will come off later. We've got the coat, just in case we need it, which is also waterproof, so that's good. Oh, thinking of waterproof. Is there anything else that I need waterproof? I have waterproof trousers. That feels excessive for the day, doesn't it? I'm actually early. Who would have thought of that? I'm leaving now because there's nothing wrong with being a little bit early. I've got to get to the Machu Picchu Reservations office for 5 a.m. Uh, we booked the tour with them because we get a discount after doing the Salcante, so it's only 75 solids, which I thought was a good price for the whole day excursion. You can see the sun rising on the Plaza de la Armas. So nice. I love the location of the Nell Victoria Hostel because it's just so, so central. So you, I heard, you can do this tour by yourself. You can get a taxi there or maybe even a bus. But uh, when we were looking into the logistics, when I say we, I'm doing this um, with Johannes and Elena, who are a German couple who I met on the Salkante trek. You may remember them from the videos, maybe. When we were looking into the logistics of that, didn't actually turn out to be any cheaper to do that than to do this tour. And so we thought, oh, well, why don't we do the tour? Just because it's easier. We know we're going to be looked after. We know we're going to be fed and taken to the right places. Um, so that's why we are doing a tour. This is so pretty. I'm going to have to take a photo. Also just kind of rare to see the Plaza del Armas with hardly any people in, even if the people that are on the square are drunk because they're just coming in from their night out. Anyway. <laughs> Office. Most people are up this early because they are doing the Salcante trek, which was what we were doing last week, but not me today. They leave off a little bit earlier than what we do for Rainbow Mountain, like 15 minutes earlier, and I'm early. Can I sit here? Yeah. Okay, the bus has dropped us off. There's one hour and 40 to that breakfast spot and then another hour to get to here. I'm so tired, I could really do with some more sleep. Okay, we are now officially at the stop where the bus has dropped us off. We're at 4,550 meters right now. You can feel that the air is cold. However, I think we're super lucky because the weather is glorious today. It's really nice and sunny. Hope it stays like this over the next few hours because um, it's not too bad, but I've got my coat just in case. Good. Sorry. Oh, good this is, yes. Cost an extra 25 solids, solids on top of the 75 solids for the tour itself. I forgot to book it because we booked it less than six weeks in advance. Oh, great. Okay, so we have one hour of flat walking and Green Grove Flat, not Inca Flat, and then 45 minutes of probably what's going to be quite steep uphill, which is going to be a bit of a killer. It's okay. So you can see the guy running down there. He's going to pick the next lot of people up who want to take the donkeys up. So you can take the donkeys up here. How much does the cost of that? Maybe 80 solars. 80 solars? You can do that. <laughs> you can do that. Or you can touch yourself like we are. What on earth is going on in the House of Commons? These mamas have sunglasses. Please, please go down. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most ridiculous llama thing I've seen so far in all of Peru. I just paid seven solas for a Twix. It's a lot of money for a Twix, but I really wanted it. I've got no other snacks and I might get hungry later. Now it's where the steep bit starts. Oh, goodness me. I'm hot. Thought I was going to wear that coat, but no, no, sun's out, so it's really warm. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a struggle to the top. Also, it's literally busier than Machu Picchu. I wasn't expecting that. Fuck me. I think the Rainbow Mountain's on this right hand side, do you know? Uh -huh. Maybe. How are you feeling, Elena? It's exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> it is quite exhausting. <laughs> do a lot of breaks, so. Yeah. Harder than the Salkantai? Yes, the height is, yeah. is so different. It is harder, isn't it? We're basically just higher than what even we were on the Salkantai Pass. And so breathing's just way more difficult out here, but luckily it's, you know, that's the top, it's not too long. What is the official name of the mountain? Uh, sorry, sorry. The uh, nombre oficial de Rainbow Mountain? The official name or the real, the real name is Winning Kunka, chicos, yeah? Willy Kunka? Winning Kunka. Winning Kunka? Yeah, Kunka is net, yeah, chicos. Winning is <coughs> similar, yeah? <coughs> okay, here the actually is uh, 4,900, okay? Uh, green color, or this green color. It's for the mineral copper. Sin, uh, red color is sin. 
yellow gold. Okay, in this place of all the mountains, there are uh, there is different minerals. Okay, mining minerals. Go, go. Damn it, damn it. I'm doing it. Fucking hell. There it is. This is. I can't with the sunglasses. Stop! Oh, oh. oh the on cloaker leaves. So yes, that's Rainbow Mountain, obviously. But look at the view over here. It's just spectacular. Absolutely insane. So beautiful up here, and a lot of people. But it's really cool. It took us one hour and ten to get to like the kind of bottom of the iconic Rainbow Mountain view. But what we can do is we can walk to the top, which we'll do now. But yeah, from the car, one hour fifty. All no, no, not too bad. <laughs> Is this the queue for the sign? Okay, so there's a sign here Montaña Vini Cuca, Neighbor Mountain, Johanna San Elena. How much that's so good. Oh. It's so nice of you, I love it. Yeah, you oh, love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not into this montagna vinicunga picture. You're not going to get in the queue for the picture? No, 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 no. Do you want a picture with the llamas? No. Oh, okay. Come on, my breath. It's chilly up here. It's like it's snowing. <laughs> this is the reality of Rainbow Mountain, if you wanted to know. It's not quite all you see in the pictures. It's very beautiful, though. I love looking at it. It was such nice weather earlier, it was so sunny, and now we get to the top and we're like, oh no, here comes the snow! Ah! So cute! Aww, they're so fluffy, I want to die! Oh, they're so cute and cuddly! I love them! Oh, it's so funny! And the Itu in the photo? What's the name? Natisa? Oh, look how fluffy they are! Come on, the one with sunny. Let's have a see your face. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. Nice. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Oh. So I have cool. soft today. They're so nice. They're so nice. Oh. Ah, so. Yeah. Sí, muchas gracias. De nosotros. Sí, muchas gracias. I gave twenty dollars from all of us. We gave you also ten. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's. Super, super beautiful up here. Super beautiful. And what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna walk along this, like kind of down here and along this ridge. And then this is the Red Valley. And that, that's the way we return. And Elaine is getting photos. A few more shots of this view because we've come all this way. It's definitely worth it. It's a super, like the panoramic view around here is amazing. So it does cost extra if you want to walk through the Red Valley, 20 soles extra, which you pay in two lots of 10. There's like two different checkpoints. Great. So <laughs> don't forget to bring cash with you when you are coming here because you're gonna need to pay it quite a lot. Here we go, welcome to the Red Valley. That's amazing. I don't know if I've ever seen landscapes like this in my life. Spectacular. This is where we just paid another 10 solos. You can also buy beer if you want. I do not want a beer right now. I'm having my twigs. It's time. <laughs> this is a vibe. Wow. Pretty cool. not gonna lie this view is a hundred percent better than Rainbow Mountain definitely worth the extra 20 solids this is insane da, 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 da. happy for our breath <laughs> 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 thank you so much thank you. perfect <laughs> Tres años. Oh, Luna. Tres años. Hi, Luna. <laughs> Is that nice? Yeah, yeah no, very beautiful home. Really like so we got to run down this hill. Whoa! 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 Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa! When it's a bit thicker, sand, it's a bit easier. Woo! 
It's all gonna go in my shoes. Okay, oh, now you can go faster. Woo. Yeah. It's all in my shoes. <laughs> slowly, slowly. We've had the better rock. Oh, I got so much of that in my shoes. Oh, <laughs> is it in my socks as well? No. By the way, the ankle feels all right. It's kind of sore to touch, but it's been all right to walk on. I think moving it has probably done it some good. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it back to the bus. I'm gonna end the hike there. The total walking time-ish was two hours and 51 minutes and 17 seconds. Total distance was 8.57 kilometers. And we did an elevation gain of 414 meters, which was a pretty good effort. The max elevation was 513 meters. And the minimum, which is probably where we're at now, is 450, 4,552. So there we go. There's your stats for the rainbow mountain trek, including Red Valley. So now we're just going to get back on our bus here. I believe we're driving about two hours to a lunch place and then a further one hour back to Cusco. So we should be back in Cusco nicely in the middle of the afternoon. Oh, have we, is this compulsory? <laughs> I'm not going to show up. <laughs> Plaza de Armas. Plaza del Armas is a bit busier than what it was at 5 a.m. this morning, understandably. No gracias. But actually, it's quite pleasant. I think it's a lot more pleasant here in the weekdays than what it is on the weekend. Just less chaos. Yeah, I think I prefer the weekdays here in Cusco, even though the weekend nightlife is buzzing. But even though the weekday nightlife is also buzzing. But almost back to the hospital. I'm so tired. I think I'm going to nap before dinner. I really want to go here at some point, the cheese and wine bar. Haven't had the chance to go yet. Cansada. <laughs> gracias. Oh, well, gracias. Even at 8 a.m., everyone always tries to sell you something. It's okay. Last night, I went for the most delicious sushi with Elena and Johannes at Wado Sushi, just down the road from where I'm staying. I've tried a couple of sushi places in town, and that one is 100% my favorite. Highly recommend. And now, I actually check out of this hostel at 10 a.m. this morning, so I'm just off to get a little coffee to support my packing <laughs> purposes. I'm not leaving Cusco, I'm just changing hostels. There's a coffee shop up here which I went to the other week. It's called Florencia y Fortunara Cafe. <laughs> and it does really nice coffee. It's actually a really cute little courtyard, I'll show you, but I'm just gonna get a takeaway today. Hola, bien, bien, you too. Gracias. Give me a cafe. Sí. ¿Qué es lo que vas a elegir? Sí, yo, ya. Gracias. Um, no, leche normal? Sí, leche normal. Sí. Uno, uno. Ok, espresso. I got my coffee, but that was absolutely mortifying because they didn't take my payment when I first ordered. And then I completely forgot. So I just like walked off with my coffee and they were like, disculpe, disculpe. And I was like, shit, I'm so sorry. And then obviously like you're trying to tell them that it's an accident, but I think they were in a mood with me. I think they were literally thought I was trying to steal the coffee, which I really wasn't. It was really an accident. Oh, I hate that. I hate that they might have thought that I was just trying to steal from them because it really wasn't the case. Yeah, mortifying. Anyway, very nice coffee. I highly recommend them. problem now and it's a problem that was entirely created by myself so I've bought a few things in Cusco like this kind of 
base layer jacket as well as that woolly jumper that I told you about and it means <laughs> not everything fits into two bags anymore. I'm using my foldable backpack to also carry things which is an issue that's not what I wanted. It's okay for now that we're just still in Cusco because it's just not a big deal but I feel like moving on to other destinations and moving into dorm rooms and things it's gonna be a bit of an issue so I'm gonna have to figure out a solution to this over the next few days. Does it mean I'm gonna have to send a package home? I don't want to get rid of anything that I have. Do you know what? I'm actually using every single thing that I have. Anyway, I managed to uh, pack up before checkout finished, which is good. So I'm going to check out this room now and then we'll make our way to the new hostel. try out this breakfast place that's been recommended called Kura. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. As you can see, I'm in a new hostel now, but I've got so much more to share with you in Cusco. Don't worry, this is not the last Cusco vlog. There's probably gonna be like three or four more, to be honest. I'm finding it very, very hard to leave this town. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.